Hello there, folks. Welcome back to Towns with Sean and Valerius. Hello, everyone. Hello, indeed. We have... Oh, well, I'll unpause first. A construction worker. Uh, I, I believe we set him going last time. Yes, yeah. we did. So they should just be selling a bunch of stuff to him. The, just getting things going. The yeah. metal surplus, I think. We have a lot of building to do. That's the reason why we kept uh, setting things up and such. Yeah, yeah. Because we're starting to revolutionise Derpsville now. We're starting to push it forward into the modern age the, with roads. Yeah, the roading. Dotted roads. Is one of the main thing that's happening. We also we need to. Can we road through the farms whilst it's got animals in? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. Looks like no. No. Okay. That's an issue. But so that's gonna do, that's gonna have to wait till we start eating the I other fields. I was gonna fields. say if we swap onto like chickens because it's such a small farm, mm. we'll easily eat through them quite fast. Then we'll lay down the road and go to the pigs. Yeah. And if the order's there to lay it down, they should... We won't stop yet because it will just make a mess of... Yeah. Because they'll start putting things here where they're trying to build the existing road. Let's get all the other roads done yeah. first. Plus, the minute you swap, they'll and start we'll doing... Um, they'll start trying to like pile that meat up. Right. We've got 96 stone. Yeah. I could probably do a bit more of that. How much wood have we got? We've got 100 raw pork for some reason. Uh, 141 cooks. I think I think we kept the 100 raw pork. Yeah. So the switch would be uh, easier. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right there. Uh, heads on sticks. That's something we need to keep doing as well. Yes. And roofing the tavern. Are we? Did you still want to put floor? a second floor on it? Now that we're keeping the Highland. <laughs> I don't know. It depends, really, how far we're going on in this. Because I mean. To get a second floor on there, we're going to have to actually have a lot more townies move in, and we're going to need a lot more room for those townies. Yeah. Because at the moment, we're bang on hero count, aren't we? Yes. And it's like building another room up uh, there. Yes, yes, we are. We've got well, six heroes. Building the room up there seems ideal and everything. But we need like, 49 townies to get the next hero. We've got 37. So we would need 14 Did we ever figure out houses. if the um, dwarf works? Because that was another thing. We have never had a dwarf. I don't think that works. Maybe not. I think there's, I think there's something not right about it, but I don't know what it is that isn't right. It might be that it has to be um. Because we've got, if we go down there, we have a tavern. Yeah, I think the walls might have to be built by us though. Maybe. Do you think it can't be dungeon wall? We'd have to put yeah. our own walls in. Should well, we do tavern that? Tavern walls, maybe. The black ones we've used. Yeah. Well, they're they're not specifically tavern walls. They are just. Any know, wall. Obviously, that, once that goes around this tavern floor, yeah. that might seal it in as an actual Do you think we should there? take the dungeon wall out and replace it with another wall? Yeah. Because uh, we could just mine out one layer of wall. Yeah, yeah, it's, it. not, it's not difficult yeah. at all. We can totally do that. And then we'll just stick like the black wall back down there. And it'll look so beautiful. And maybe a dwarf will go, Aye, that is a nice house. I think I might go there and live there. I am a farmer dwarf. Sooner or later, we'll figure out how it works, and then we'll get a dwarf. And, and hopefully the and dwarf will be happy. better than the Highlander. Or we'll get a dwarf, and it'll be really, really rubbish, and won't do yeah. anything. I've got to be honest, I don't actually know anything about the dwarves. What would but... be, be cool is if the dwarf actually mined stuff and brought it back oh, to the town. That would be incredible. That would be amazing. If he just opens the next day yeah. with dungeon by himself and just goes down there and or fucks everyone up. If he, can't, <laughs> if he can't find any creatures, just that's mining walls. Yeah. And he just mines loads of walls that aren't dangerous and then brings well, everything back and gives you the stone. I was going to say, this is, this is the danger yeah. there. He could flood the whole dungeon if he's not careful. The dwarf went to the danger zone. Yeah. No dwarf, no. Um... Yeah, there is a way down there as well. It's yeah. not blocked off or anything. Oh no, it's all set up and ready. Where's they he just going? Do a bit of dirt. He's off to go mine. <laughs> He's like, I don't <laughs> where, do where, where was Sedney going? Uh, Sedney was going. Oh, to copper. copper mine. That's okay. And the rogue was going to go steal the copper now. That's <laughs> <laughs> so so going to steal it and sell it to the merchant. Well, it looks like he's it. going to that uh, dangerous place. He's off to go mine the wall. <laughs> These guys don't know what hit them. <laughs> Where's he even going? Now to bring the water in. He's just going to go stand in this room for some reason. Specifically that room. Not yeah. any other rooms, all corridors. Just Sooner or later room. we're going to have to dig out the next layer of dungeon and give them something to do. Oh, yes. But they've all still... got nice stuff at the moment, though, at least. Still so... <clears throat> Excuse me, there's still so much to haul. Ah, that's what we need. We need the ice chest. We need to get all the ice out of there. You know what we should do at one point as well? You know the uh, blessed chest plate is a bit shit? Yes. Would it be better than what the knight is wearing? Because if we left it in the market, the knight might pick it up. The knight can wear better than the blessed chest plate, and he it, probably it is might. already wearing might. better. But I mean, if you look at him, he's a, wearing snicker right at the moment. He's a he's a bit rubbish, really. That's seventeen ten defense. 
and the blessed. Do we actually have some wearing it? Is six four five? It's like eleven hundred less. Uh. So yeah, he's he's already wearing better, and he can wear even better than that as well as as they become available. If we see any really good armor, we'll have to buy it for the night. Uh, yeah, we can we can always make him stuff. He might find some stuff himself down the next layer of dungeon. It's not impossible. It's he, not impossible. He picked you know, up he picked up that from down in the dungeon. You know, what kind of derpiness the uh, heroes are into. And if you put it in the market, they will go in there and just go, "Oh look, I found dress play guys." And that, that they may happy. or they may not. I'm not convinced that that's... Well, considering the fact that it's worked now for about four or five times... It's I worked for the rogues. confirm it, it's good. At least. But only, only for weaponry so far. They hang around in the market. We've never bought anything other than weaponry in there. Oh, we definitely have. They've never taken the Blessed Iron Breastplates that we bought, or the Fire Breastplates. Oh, that was yonks ago. Or the Mask of the Beast, or... Uh, Mask of the Beast, they probably won't take, because I reckon they can't wear them. They probably can, because the Highlander can turn into a bear. Yeah, but that's his unique ability. So if any hero could pick up the Mask of Beast, he would literally be better than a Highlander. Well, yeah. Because he could turn into a Highlander. So they probably took out the uh, uh, way of them wearing the Mask of the Beast, so that the Highlander was unique. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not... I don't think it's impossible. Oh, she's hauling blue slime out of there. Yeah, they were getting blue slime. For the colouring. Oh, do we, do we not have any blue slime barrels? I Well, we probably do, but we don't have any blue slime left, maybe? No, there is blue slime. There's. I don't think we have a barrel for it. That's copper. Yeah. We're going to have to check these ones. Did we ever set these? That's bones. bones. So that'll be at least two bones. Maybe three bones. Ah, oh, maybe we didn't set these. On a Third bones. row's bones. So three rounds of bones. There might even be four bones. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah four, four bones. bones. Got four bones. Boners. Um, five wow, bones. five bones. I reckon we just had lots of bones at some point and put them all it, in there. It's from the uh, the meat. Yeah, the killing meat the animals facility. produces bones. That's why we kept keeping them. So we definitely set up loads. And of we were going to make lots of bone stuff, and then we never got around to it, and there just wasn't any bones anymore. Right, that one's not bones. It belongs to red gel. It's red gel. What's the one before that? That will probably be red gel as well. We usually do two rows of stuff. Colors. Red yeah, gel. red gel. So then the two before that, blue? So, we should put some barrels in for blue. No, the rest is bones. Oh, well, this, yeah. Colours. Oh no, that's red gel as right, well. Right, so we've got three red gels. Why don't we just turn well, let's just, a layer of red could, gel into blue? Just do three for blue. Uh, so we okay. need to store it, that's the thing. We, we, we need enough storage, because when we open the next layer of dungeon... They're just there's going to be a lot of shit down there. There isn't three um, rolls worth of blue, though, really, is there? I'll request a load of barrels and put an order in for a chop. Lord of barrels. Lord of barrels. There we go. Uh, one, two, three. I'll do it this way. It's going to be easier. It is indeed. There's going to be lots of clicking during this part because, you know, clicking, my dear boy, that's how games yep. work. Barrels, uh, and then I'll get. It's not how is it? Chop to get the wood for the barrel. Wood for the barrels, and I might as well put in the order for eight chests as well. And then the order for eight chests. God, these townies are so busy doing everything. Yeah, the there is so much going on. Well, got to keep them busy, Vel. Busy, busy little bees. Yep. So busy bees. Do you remember that game? Ones. Uh, was that a really annoying one that I had? It was like a board game, like Hungry Hippos and stuff like that, but it, you had to wear this headband with a B on that had a magnetic thing oh, on, underneath it. that's not what I was it. thinking of. And you had to, like... There was, like, a thing with, like, magnetic balls, and you had to use the B to pick them up. Yeah. It was really shit, as most mass-produced children's board games are. I had, um... That really annoying one. Do you remember that one where it's like you started it up and had to click parts of the room where the fly would be based on what it told you? And it used to like go and then you'd hit something and it'd go, Whoosh, you got me. Vaguely, I can't think that's, what it was called, that was but that really sounds sort of familiar. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> Fucking Demetrius, fuck off! <laughs> I'm busy in here, there's barrels for wood. <laughs> where can I put my wood? Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that would. What an asshole! What an asshole! Oh, it's Rolf de Berniers with his beast thing. I keep 
Because he doesn't wear the mask, I keep forgetting that he turns yeah. into a bear for no goddamn reason. It is annoying that. As if they never checked that. I know. So you would think making an entire game that would be the first. I know that that is that is some shoddy fucking coding, is what that is. Yeah. What we need as well at some point is an idle episode again, just to get them moving everything into these. Mm. So once the chests are up and running and the barrels are, we've set all of them for whatever heights. Yeah, we we'll definitely need to do. Because yeah. I don't want to open the next area dungeon until they've cleared the other one out, and we can start building because it's getting more. Then it's getting more and more deadly down there. Yeah, it's, it's very deadly. I don't like the fact they can walk over them in stick post things that we put up. Oh, the hobgoblin heads, yeah. yeah. They constantly walk over them now. It pisses me off so <laughs> much. So like, you little bastards. There's so many of them. The thing is, we need them so that they don't fucking... Because otherwise, there's too many heads everywhere. Hashtag Highlander get. <laughs> Highlander get. <laughs> I want the Highlander gone. Oh, all these chests are going to face this way as well. The Highlander doesn't even pay his rent. So it's like, I think we should wow. just go up there, kick him out. Should like, we uh, send Alphalos up to break his kneecaps yeah. what, with, what, the, with the head masher? <laughs> what has he brought to Derpsville, in all honesty? Look at him. He turns into a bear. He punches our pigs. Yeah. He has the shittiest equipment ever. Never puts on a t-shirt. And he's actually holding a goblinite spear, by the looks of things. Just a pile of... Butt. Which is surprising, to be fair. He's only got that, that, and, a, that and a blue hat. So hey, guys, I'll be in the blue hat guy. He's walking around <laughs> with no pants, no top, <laughs> and no shoes. It's just like the biggest douche ever. Yeah. And then he keeps changing into a bear. Oh, I'm a bear guy. Oh. It's like, you can't be Tarawin. Go back to your own world. There go back goes. to your he's own going, mountains. He's gone, but obviously heard you. He's fucked off. Good. Go back he's to your own mountains. About. Go back to the mountains of Derbsville. The no, mountains going back up. of Derbsville. <laughs> he went round in a complete circle. It was off in the dungeon to see if it's open yet. You open that dungeon yet, guys? Oh my god. If he dies, that tavern goes down. I'm telling you now, it goes. Unless another one just crops yeah. it immediately. Yeah, alright, alright, I agree with that. Yeah. Craig Gummer says we're not allowed to like evict the Highlander, but yeah. if he if he dies... Not saying we're going to break him into a room and he'll die <laughs> suffocation, but you know, if he dies... If he happens to die... Quick, remove the door now. <laughs> we're, we're fucking totaling this yeah. and taking away the hill. It's only if we notice as well. Yeah, let's see if they've mined out that dwarf thing. That dwarf thing. No. 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 They They're haven't so done busy. shit, Valerius. Well, they haven't been chopping an entire forest. They haven't, they haven't chopped the forest yet, either. That's They're setting down three loads happened. of barrels, though, and doing the yeah. chests. They are making barrels and chests. <laughs> yeah. Which is good. And still making beef, obviously, because they're obsessed hopefully, with beef now. Hopefully they're still making beef. Well, it's all over the floor, so I would imagine they are making beef. <laughs> yeah. So, it's... um. Coming up for the Christmas sale before too long, Florius. I know. Have you got any things on your wish list you're sort of waiting to, to grab all, on the cheap? All of Telltale's games. <laughs> uh, there well, is nothing on cheap that I want, to be honest. I mean, I'll be, I'm hoping Shadow of Mordor is going to be on the cheap. Because mm. I sort of want to play that, but I really, really regret paying 30 quid for games. <laughs> you know what I mean? The problem is, with me, is I look at Shadow of Mordor and I go... Unless it was a really good offer. Yeah. I kind of don't think it's fully worth it. I like Shadow of Mordor. I really do. Yeah. But I just don't really think that paying 30 or even 25 is acceptable. No. I I'd... mean, 15, I would happily pay yeah. 15 out 15, for I'd, I'd, have, I'd have pre-ordered it, <laughs> that, to be honest. But Considering like the um, time it's come out and the Christmas um, sale coming out now, mm. it's like I don't really see them dropping it. All the new games never get dropped for Christmas. They might do. Ah, they never do. Or if they do, they go, oh, look, we've dropped do. it. Massive savings. 10%. I'm definitely... <laughs> that's that's probably the big thing I'm keeping my eye out for, to pick up on, I mean, the, on the cheap. I'm just looking for, you know, the best game of all time, uh, Bad Rats. That is amazingly cheap at Christmas. And uh, if you haven't owned Bad Rats, <laughs> it is an excellent game. Go out and buy it. And if you don't own Bad Rats, I'm absolutely amazed at you, to be honest. The fucking Bad Rats. <laughs> it's so bad. If you do own Bad Rats, go out and buy it for your friends. <laughs> They'll oh, love it. It's just the bone merchant, Blowers. Well, can't sell him any bones. We can, but we've only oh. got 29. Should I sell him them anyway? We're not using them for anything. Has he got anything we can stick fact, in the necromancer? I sell some of this shit that's lying but around. You're just making them do more. Stuff. I know, but this shit is starting to build up. We did say it, we were going to try and get rid of so some isn't. shit. It so isn't building up. There's barely even a page full of it. 
I of remember. random weaponry there is tons of ba- it. Back in the day, look, we had loads of stuff. This is how much random weaponry there is. That's heads. Look at the all heads. Right, that's all the that heads. is mostly heads. All the heads. Look at all the heads. Okay, that is mostly that heads. That is all I heads. Take it, all right, I take it back. It's mostly heads. I'm sorry, I'm hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> My God, go it's delete heads. the heads. <laughs> Do you remember when you kept deleting the heads and we couldn't delete all of them? <laughs> Craig got to ripped his dick off that day. <laughs> yeah, I bet he did, yeah. He was just like, where are all the heads? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the heads going? Oh, we need God. to make a new head place. Because we've got to start getting rid of these heads. Yeah, I know. I mean, that, to be honest, I don't even care if it takes them a long time. It will clear everything up and you'll stop selling well, let me the get, items. Well, let me get these eye chests done and we can start holding well, some That's going to take three times as long now you've made them sell to the fucking market. I know. We will get rid of the heads. Goddamn bastard. <laughs> we need somewhere else where we can put heads. We're going to put some... See, I don't want to put them here because yeah, it's right in front of someone's road. door. We want a road there, really. Perhaps, Do we? Perhaps too long road, right? And then put some nice flowers on the middle of it. Yeah. It that oh, nice. that's a good idea. We'll put some flowers yeah. in. Yeah. Get some nice looking flowers. Uh, what am I looking what? for? Road. Yeah. Get the two layers of road in front of those houses. Fucking ice in the way, but that, that's okay. Kind of. And then we'll have to look at what kind of decorations we've got for the middle of it. In fact, I might be able to put another row in there because I think that these you can have. In a square. Oh, that's literally one square. Yeah. Oh. We could put some heads in the middle. Or put I like, some nice no, I, I think the flower yeah. gardens, man. Oh, yeah. That's going to be amazing. Blue, blue ones. Flowers. Blue yeah, flowers. to go yeah. with the road. Blue flowers. Uh, we Mud need stone. mud. Oh, we could get that. We're mining a bit of that hill from the islander. Just mine it around the road. We said we were going to do that. Um... Because he said not to evict the Highlander, but if you go look at yeah. his, where he lives... Do we have any mud? Uh, not much of it. Because someone kept wow. selling it repeatedly. Yeah, yeah. I know I know. we were planning on selling quite a lot of it. Um, all that mud there that's around that road, that's what we were just going to trim off. Yeah. Because he's got all the other side to come down. Well, the other thing we can do is we can always take a bit more off this side. Because oh. we did want to build... I think the Badgerina is probably going to end up being mostly here. I don't know. I reckon the other place is better at the moment. It's right next to the warehouse... We only need a small amount of blood for a little bit of a flower thing. There's also an order in to take that stone in the river. Mm, what am I doing? I don't know. Yeah, I noticed there's an order to take that stone. I don't think anyone can reach that stone. I should probably cancel. Yeah, before someone actually tries it and then falls in and dies. What layer is it? Yeah. Wow, it's literally layer two. No, it's layer one. Wow. And they never did it. Fucking Derbsville. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to Derbsville. <laughs> welcome to Derbsville, where we do everything wrong, on purpose. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that side bit of the mountain that's right next to the warehouse, where the islander is, we'll take that down, put in some orders just to trim that side. Do you want me to do that now? Yeah. Because that's how, we do that. How much do you want to trim of this? Um, I want it so we can get some things around the Because obviously we have to trim from the top. Well, we want some things around the road to make them just walk around there. Yeah. So, maybe just this bit here. Just like a nice little square bit, yeah. Just that bit there. He doesn't need any of this, does he? Oh, siege. Okay, just a sec. We'll put this in and deal with the siege. Oh, that's the wrong layer. Wrong layer. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's the right layer. I'll put that in and then I know where I'm up to. Mine, the dirt. There we go. Uh, Right, siege. Let's go see what the siege is about. Evil matters! (laughs) Oh no, oh, it's a massive one. Okay, right, let's... Um, Turn everyone but one. Yeah. That's the easiest way of doing this. Go up a page. Oh, I there we go. agree. So, there we go, that is... Yeah. Oh, there you go. Roger Boosie. They're both wearing quite shit equipment, so I'm going to try yeah. and leave them out of it. You should make a note of them in your edge, and then write them down after this episode, and then look into them next... Uh, it was Roger Boosie and Demetrius. Demetrius and Roger. Mm-hmm. We'll just have to start like prioritising people who are wearing spider right or worse. I know what we need to do. We need to get yellow hats, right? Yeah. And anyone we want to actually look at and put armour on... Mark put yellow hat on yellow hat. <laughs> That's not a bad so idea, every actually. episode, we're like, who did we want to put that thing on? Oh, yeah, look, this guy's wearing a yellow hat. That's who we were putting it up. Yeah. Roger Boosie has gone into the fight already. That's no, okay, he's gone to bed. He's one goblin, that's it, he's fucked, he's off home. I'm tired, guys, not dead. Hey, the guys, I'm out. Sound floss with the head masher. He's off to go get the blue hats just literally don't care. They're like, oh, no. look, now Commander Rose being invaded by yeah. spiders again. <laughs> Let's just fucking leave them to it, guys. Oh, no. Oh, wow, hell of a miss. That was a bad move. 
She's just sleeping there. If we had a window there right now, she'd see you. Oh, the, the spiders are coming. Imagine oh, being no. in town when this happened. She'd be like, no, There's a rogue. Yes. There was a rogue in the market. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. That rogue's going to do something. There's fighting. so much going on. I can't even, I can't even really follow it. So. Just cannot even. Just keep an eye on the soldier number. And if it goes down to 34, one of them died. And that is your fault. Okay. <laughs> and you have to blame yourself. Is. I will. I will. Rip my own dick off if it happens, Larry. No, I can't do better not. Oh, the sieges create bones as well. Yeah. That was another reason we had so many bone chests. Yeah. There's a lot of bones okay, I think that get made. I think we survived. Yeah, that was pretty much all of it. Turn everyone back. I'm just having a quick scoot around. Scoot and beating around. Scoot and beating in a room. They died. I was uh, happy. Yeah, it looks clear. Brilliant. Sometimes I lay awake at night. Just thinking about how all the scooter uh, beans are right. dead. Do this, do that. I'm so happy they're all dead, Sharon. You hate scooter beans. Oh, I hate them. What do you hate more, scooter beans or Clara Roswald? Clara Roswald. <laughs> that's, that's like a dead given. <laughs> Holy shit. I fucking scooter beans, though. Oh my god. We actually dealt with that quite easily, I think. Yep. We're starting some of really the strong people up. must have got involved in there. Roger Boosie is actually pretty powerful, to be honest. He took that goblin has, down his I seconds. think he's got a diorite axe, yeah. which is quite good against the weaker monsters. But once, like the direwolf alphas and sort of stuff that's stronger than that, is where it really starts to get to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, we'll soon have even um, stuff. There's a feather hat down there. As what well. was I doing? I've I've put the order in for the mud. Yeah, and all the barrels and the eye chest. And the, the barrels and the eye chest and the chopping and is the, all the done. Beef's going on and the roads going on. We have no wood, but that's okay because they should now do their other jobs and then do yes. the chop. They should lay down all the road. Once all the road's done, they should then do the chop. Once yeah. they've chopped it, they should start building the barrels and the eye chest. And then we can think about putting some pretty yeah. flowers down. Oh my god. And then we can, That's uh, a really good idea, and the then pretty flowers. And we need to flowers. keep doing the mud as well. Yeah. Get all that mud in. How much are we looking at? How much mud? I wonder if monsters can spawn on road. No, they can't. Because we could road off this back area so they can't spawn there. We went over this. We don't think anything can spawn on road at all. Yeah. And I'm fairly sure we said we were going to road that at some point, but we said it'd look weird. It will look weird, but maybe we should do it. I mean, I don't think it's too much of a problem. And once we get everyone fully equipped... It's not a huge have problem. It's just... Problem at all. It just means that these are the people most likely to die because they're closer to the monster spawn. But that's fine. As, we could just as, equip them first. As happened to, uh, to Ronald that time. Well, yeah, but you know, Ronald, we need to look after. Now we've got <laughs> eye chest going on. Eye chest? Ronald, eye chest. I, Ronald would shit himself at this site. It's going to be amazing. It's like he was wearing a badger How, hat and oh, wooden armour for fuck's sake. I can actually... Now we've got fucking diorite, zombie, oh, spiderite. What were they under again? Containers. Yeah. They've moved the wood so I can uh, just do that. Yeah, this is the thing. If you put down any orders or anything is in that square, nothing will happen in that square. They can't drop anything there. Yeah. And they can't do anything else, which is... Because we're going to end up with useful, really. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows of ice. For how many ice is there? Well, we have to go with two rows for the first two, three, three ice. Yeah, we're going to lock they're going to be... spider right there is tons yeah. of. That's the main the issue. The first three ice always come round. And then what we need to do is start like making them into weapons and selling the weapons. Yes. Because they'll be on the weapon racks then. So we could just sell the weapons. Yeah. We also want to delete all the chests that are in the armory and the. We want to delete the barrels from in here, don't blacksmith. we? Blacksmith. Yeah, and we want to put weapons in there and weapons in the. Um, the thing is, I have to actually delete blacksmith. the barrels. You can't, you okay. can't move them without completely stripping out the market. Oh, yeah, and even no. then, they might not move them because they just they we, tend to we leave. We haven't got anywhere for them. Yeah, we're full. I know, but they 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 never really move barrels properly. Oh, it's so fine, we would have to just you know. completely disable them, which means we need to. We uh, probably to need honest, to make sure we've got there's anything mud. in them now. Yeah, do you want me to do it now, before yeah. we finish? Might as well, just get rid of all them barrels. What we'll do is, we'll put um, uh, like a weapon rack in there, an armour rack, and we'll start making really crappy armour. Oh man, just just imagine the look on Craig Glensell's face right now as I do this. <gasps> oh god, my god! <laughs> oh, fucking don't die like them! No, why, why you do this? Let oh, evil badgers take the papaya in the world! Yeah. Oh my god, just don't die like them! That's not a bad idea, you could have filled them full of bread and let the evil badgers nah, steal them. because they're raw materials, so bread don't Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So we can't do anything with them. Yeah. Evil badgers only take food barrels. But I mean, the idea is we're going to replace them with armor racks yeah. and weapon racks yes. so that we can try and equip the heroes. Well, not only that, but we're going to put all the crappy armor and weapons we find in there so that yeah. we can start hauling it all straight into the market uh, in seconds what were like these that. Ones? It'll keep everything so clean and good. 
They were just rubbish. We were just leaving them in there, weren't we? It was literally yeah. empty. We were just leaving them in there. We've had the idea of deleting these for a long time. Yeah. They were only for months. We've got an architect's table in there as well. Yeah, I think we bought that. And a cupboard. Yeah, we bought that as well. The problem is, the architect table is not crossed, so we can't move it. Or will they move it? Will they just move it from the market? I imagine they would just Because everything it. else is crossed. You know, so it's available to move. Yeah. Don't know. We'll have to decide who we're going to give that to. Can't, yeah. Half of the offers, the main one who's got yeah. one so far. I think we were going to give it to Gandalf or one of the red Gandalf's Gandalf's room is full, man. Yeah. Nothing else is going to fit in there. He's got oh. a chess table, two it's, chairs, he's got room at a the candle, end of bed. a spider right, <laughs> a cupboard, a clock. It's like... <laughs> end of his bed, he's got room. <laughs> it's like, I, used to, I, I remember having a place like this when I was a student. You just couldn't <laughs> fucking move in there. You know what I mean? Literally tiny. But, Tell me this. As a student, did you go, oh, no, it's okay, I don't want the architect table. Or would you have gone, actually, there's yeah. room at the end of my it's bed. Like, like, yeah, pick this clock up a bit. I could squeeze it in somewhere, guys. <laughs> just, just get fit this free um, architect table, guys. We also need one more batch of flowers. By the way, what is rose. his happiness, then, considering? Um, well, he doesn't always really spend much time in there, so it's not massive. It's probably But when he does sleep, there's that 30. much in there. He should be ridiculously happy. There he is. 33. 30. Yeah. That was a pretty good guess, man. I know my town is hilarious. I know exactly how happy guess. my townies are. <laughs> pretty good guess there. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, right. Right, I think that's a good place to leave it. So There's a lot of things being done. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to, for them to do, but we can start... They've almost done with the barrels. They've actually started the chopping, so that'll, that'll probably be the next thing they do, is finish the barrels off. We'll make yeah. three rows for blue slime, so they can hold the blue slime up. Um, we'll probably dedicate four rows for spider right? I would have said do 10, two. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We can fit 80 per row. So we've already got enough to fill three rows I would have said, with what we've got. So I would say we need at least four. I would have said put two rows in because if we start creating but we spider want to... right weapons and armour, yeah. we can sell them to the market for money so we don't have to keep fucking about selling other crap. Okay, but that means we have to and get on of... that before we open the next day with Dungeon. Oh, yes, we will be doing it. Because it's the only way we can haul I mean, it all we'll out. Have a Plus, we, we, we've got a little bit of spider right stored in here, but oh, yeah. not loads. But it just means we could put in an order for like 200 spider yeah, right spiders like... and then sell them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could probably fit 12, so 6, six armor, 6 weapon racks. Yeah. In the market, that seems pretty and good And we could idea. just stock them full of spider right weapons continuously yeah. until we get enough spider right out the way that yeah. we can move it to the And then we can thing. sell them off and any new yeah. weapons we buy should get put straight in there. Yes. I guess. Okay. And we can make a nice market. That seems like weapons. a pretty good plan. We could start turning this into an yeah. economy. We could crash the economy with spider rights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we'll leave it there then. So if you want to say goodbye to everyone, Valerius. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.